hello guys you are welcome back to Sotos pro if you are if you are just uh, enjoying the video on my channel and the red subscribe i will beg you to just hit that subscribe button now and give me a thumbs up also share this uh, share this video with your colleagues and your friends thank you as you do that okay this is a continuation of uh, vertical vessel foundation which we initiated in our last class so we are able to put our all the input values and we, we we did analysis so in this class we are going to you know read our analysis output so check if everything is all right but before we continue that uh, but before we continue let's uh, quickly look at the input values and see if everything is still in order so we click on edit okay takes us to this uh, this place so we our system our unit system is a uh, system international yes the code we are using is U, uh, us code and this is the code uh, version so we click on next okay so here the effective diameter of uh, of the uh, vessel is 1.75 meters Okay, the effective height is 15 15 hbe that's this dimension is a uh, 15 meters and uh, geometry for footing on soil so diameter df that's the overall diameter of the footing is a uh, 3 meters minimum maximum is 5 meters okay then uh, the plan dimension increment 0 0.5 meters right putting thickness um that's a um tf tf is the putting thickness is a one meter minimum so this one i will change this to 0 0.5 okay maximum should be one meter Okay, putting thickness increment 0 0.1. Increase by 0 0.1. So the foundation type is octagonal foundation. Okay. The diameter of the pedestal, pedestal diameter DP, 2.5. Let's leave it at that. The the depth of uh, of uh, of the pedestal TP 0.75 is right. Okay. Then I'll click on next. So for here i will have uh, the um, boot circle diameter this boot circle diameter is not supposed to be more than the pedestal diameter so pedestal met uh, diameter is 2.5 and this one is 2.2 it's fine you can as well make it 2.1 and it's supposed to be higher than the diameter of the vessel so this is 1.7 okay that's that's right so you continue both circle diameter is that number of boats is eight okay that one is still intact both diameter is uh, 22 millimeters slip diameter is 50 embedment depth 650 that's fine we click on next okay these are the loads okay okay so we click on next yeah, this is a uh, wind load generation we have uh, selected program generated wind load according to ASCE 7 2010 so that's fine click on next this one is for time period which is uh, currently on or not available so we just uh, click next okay so we are here the small these parameters are okay so let's um, using zip code we don't want to uh, enter any value manually click on that then the center of gravity vessel bottom is 5000 mm as from vessel bottom to that okay so i'll click on next so this are uh, load combination we, we have actually checked that one and it's fine so we click on next okay so these are the concrete parameters material density 
water density is that concrete density is 25, right? Soil density is this one. That's fine. Um, bearing capacity is this. The minimum factor of safety, 1.5, 1.5. So everything is in order. Okay, this one has changed 410. Okay. Maximum bar spacing, keep over 50. Uh, maximum bar is, uh, let's use 25. Minimum bar diameter for here supposed to be 10. Okay, so I'll click on edit. That's fine. We are good to go. So I'll just click on design and wait for the output. I will also introduce you to my wonderful uh, template for drawings. It has a lot of drawings you can use to fine tune your own drawing. You know, like I used to tell you, the the strength of every civil engineer is the amount of work you have in your archive you know there's nothing new under this planet earth there's nothing there's no job you want to do today that has not been done in the past so if you have templates to actually help you to to actually increase your delivery speed you know and uh, you'll be very very effective and productive in any anywhere you're working even if you're working for yourself so um template is is is, is very important so i'm going to introduce you to that template at the end of this class so stay to the end of this video for you to have that template it's very cheap it's very cheap it has a lot of things inside so now this is the uh, the report to vertical vessel foundation design with is a ai a aci 318 2014 the unit is metric so input parameter this is uh, the tank itself the section sectional view of the tank and foundation and the dimensions we put the effective height 15 meters we put the the vessel diameter the center of gravity okay pedestal geometry the depth of pedestal the, the diameter of pedestal footing geometry the minimum footing diameter as i put in the input the maximum footing diameter is that maximum footing depth is that so we continue ankle boot, uh, boot circular diameter, uh, boot diameter, sleeve diameter, number of boots is 8, embedment depth is 650, okay, design parameter for soil, okay, soil depth 0 0.5, soil density, drain capacity, address concrete strength, so concrete cover, sorry, concrete strength, density, okay. Concrete density and concrete strength, reinforcement uh, like that. Minimum bar diameter, maximum bar diameter, minimum bar spacing, and maximum bar spacing stability check factor. Okay, primary loads. So as I, I improve the dead load is 70. We have a, a, a erection load of 30 kilonewton, life load of 40. Okay, and you know I told you something in our class about the the test load and the operating load so you can just watch my previous video on this course to so understand the understand this the, the relationship between these two okay so wind load generation uh, wind load generation using 35 meter 35 meter per second okay these are the table according to height and width of the structure okay the height is there i mean this is the elevation, yeah, that's the height. Then the seismic load and the rest of them. Okay, so load the load combination, the load combination from one one thousand and one to for the okay, this one is for allowable stress design factor. When you are using uh, uh, American code, you have two load combination types, you know, the allowable stress design factors that is service load and we also have the ultimate stress design factors and uh, that's the or the member design and reinforcement provision okay self weight and dead weight factor the uh, safe bearing factor soil bearing factor applied load at top of pedestal service stress so for the for the pedestal so the report is comprehensive putting self weight is a putting self weight final putting dimension so final footing dimension is 3.25 3. 
3.50 can just use 3.250 by 3 you know so okay final footing depth is that 500 0.5 meters pedestal design okay so check for minimum pedestal dimension is done in accordance with this code minimum distance between opposite parallel faces of pedestal is 2 point so this is greater than this which is okay so the size of our pedestal is good so using the load com this load combination which is the strength design combination this is the area of uh, the moment yes the base uh, moment okay okay number of dual system so this is pedestal design proper and and everything is okay so the stirrup is provided the member is provided okay so and this is okay you understand so okay so for footing design the stability ratio sliding check sliding check is okay you have a turning check okay the turning check is okay as well these are the things you need to pay attention to then soil bearing check okay factor factor gross soil bearing capacity is that so so bearing check is good is okay factor design on will share for share so this is the footing this is the pedestal and this dotted line is showing the punching shape perimeter okay so for shear is okay then footing reinforcement calculation okay using straight design combination 2009 okay we have a bar size of this spacing required is this so material takeoff this material takeoff as well okay check out the Enforcement number or text thirty instead for the for the for the pad footing. Okay, for the footing, yes. Total length is this. This is weight. So that's that. For the pedestal, you have all these enforcement numbers of them. And that that. So. Even the form work and the excavation. So that's the end of the report. So we don't have any issue here. So if you have any issue you can simply go to go back to edit and modify the input if is the if the failure is based on stability or based on soybean capacity you can go back and consider increasing the the part size the foundation size you get so now let's check the drawing this is the drawing so the software also help to produce drawing for you so when you look at this uh, this one is the is the plan yeah that's the GA plan. Okay. So this first one shows the pad footing of the hexagonal foundation. The second one is the pedestal. And the circle inside is showing the boat position. So you see one boat is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight boats as I include there. And you see the actual dimensions of this uh, this uh, polygon the sides of the polygon okay so this is the reinforcement and this is the section you know the sectional view of the foundation okay so this drawing can be can be exported to to autocad for cleanup you can export it to autocad and clean it up so at this point i can also i have to now introduce you to that uh, software i i, I promise i'll introduce it to so this is the software stone bridge detailing template it has a whole lot of drawing template we have a, a building on pile foundation we have a building on slab uh, raft foundation we have building on beam raft foundation we have building on wide strip foundation we have still detailing template this still detailing template we show you all how, how to detail the, all the joints of a steel a moment connection share connections all kinds of connections they are dated it's actually a warehouse drawing that has a lot of connections and all the connections uh, were shown clearly you know to detail building on path foundation just like this one we just designed now 
what we have here is actually a square pad foundation so if i just click any of them you will see the, the drawing inside so to grab this course this particular template is very cheap the, the link is in the, the description of this video just click on the link and you, you purchase it is very simple it's very cheap it's not expensive just let's just wait for for this to, to open there is actually a standard drawing drawn to global standard so if you use this standard to draw anywhere in the country is is, is generally acceptable so it we, we consider the whole lot of parameters and, and drawing standard before we came up came up with this uh, this comprehensive drawing so this one now is for pie cap and pie drawings you can see the uh, pie layout you can see the the, the sections and the reinforcement details and the rest of them. So if you are, if you have a pie work or a pie drawing, yeah, this drawing shows you what how to even go about it. What is expected to be your output? You know that's the beauty of templates. So when you see a template of a particular thing you want to do, it gives you an idea of where you are driving at, and you just uh, start immediately, and your speed will be very very appreciable. So now we go to this one, the second one is another type of foundation okay this one is a is a, is a raft okay this is well detailed raft foundation okay so when you get this course you see uh, what i'm talking about this one is a still detailing you know templates a whole lot of things uh, i'm not going i don't have enough time to open them one after the other but when you grab this course you're actually going to enjoy them yeah Okay, so this one is a uh, steel design. This is steel warehouse. This is a warehouse drawing. So the con all the connections here, you have seen the details. There. It has a concrete mem a concrete building attached to it. This one is the concrete building attached to it. Okay, so all the everything is well detailed here. This is steel. So if you have a steel structure to be to detail, this will give you an idea of how to go about it. This is the uh, warehouse uh, beam inside. Okay, so this is it. So let me just quickly take you to okay. This is the the the, the concrete side, concrete side of the of the building. So look at the connection details. These are the connection details. Everything is shown here in detail. So it gives you an idea of what is expected of you as an engineer to come out with. So even if you have a draftman drawing for you. You need this thing to guide him okay even if you are checking somebody's work you need this thing to know what the person should come up with so if the person is not coming up with something you know that is of standard you know what comments to write you know and know what to request for and this is bar bending schedule as well so these are very very uh, comprehensive so you just grab it i also have a training course on star pro the link is in the description the star pro has a I have three bonuses in uh, three bonuses embedded in that uh, training course. Once you get the training course, you are going to have uh, analysis and design of a pile. You are going to have also pile cap design. You are going to have seven story building, seven story concrete building design, complete design from beginning to end. So that concrete building will help you to go uh, to go about your PP, your personal project. If you have a personal project, you know how to go about it, design it with Star Pro, do everything with Star Pro. The training course covers both concrete and steel. You know, I have concrete steel. We have if we plan to do steel connection, we have ramp connection. So you are you are basically going to learn Star Pro itself. You learn our CDC for concrete design. You will learn uh, Star Pro Advanced, Star Pro Foundation Advanced. So it's four. You are going to learn Star Pro itself, our CDC, ramp connection, and foundation advanced. There are four, four in one. So the tutorial class. The training class, the training course, we teach you all these four software, and you have those uh, bonus I've mentioned. So at this point, we are going to call it a day. Next time, we are going to continue with other with other things. Okay, please subscribe to my channel and share my content. Thank you very much.